following great news comes courtesy of my favorite entertainment website thejasminebrand.com the article is posted september 19th of 2018 today and it's titled exclusive marriage boot camp doing love and hip-hop edition enlisting couples from franchise here's what they wrote the jasmine brand exclusively reports marriage boot camp is allegedly doing a love and hip-hop edition marriage boot camp also known as marriage boot camp bridezillas marriage boot camp reality stars and marriage boot camp reality stars family edition is a reality television series which debuted in 2013 on we tv it is a spin-off of bridezillas and is based on the marriage boot camp nonprofit seminar created by Jim Carroll in 1994. Sources tell us that next season, the hit series cast will only feature couples from the Love & Hip Hop franchise. The franchise includes the original Love & Hip Hop in New York City, Love & Hip Hop Atlanta, Love & Hip Hop Hollywood, and Love & Hip Hop Miami. We hear that couples will likely include two reality stars that are married, in relationships, have broken up, etc. We're also told that they've already allegedly filmed and rap production on the show. What couples do you think should be on the show? Well, well I'm glad that you asked that, the Jazz Brian. That's the end of the article. Listen, y'all. Peter Guns and Amina Butterfly went on the show and Tara showed up. I think it was like the last episode or the last two episodes of her fine self. And, you know, Amina Butterfly is my favorite of all favorites, you know. I, well, I have three favorite reality TV stars. So if anybody doesn't know, and I already talked about this in another video, if you type in Meet Magazine, favorite reality tv stars revealed the video should pop up if you can't find it you can ask for it but don't be lazy actually look for it if you never saw it but basically uh, my favorite reality show stars are amina butterfly from love and hip-hop new york april jones from love and hip-hop hollywood and drea michelle from basketball wives and of course they're all retired from reality tv however my baby amina butterfly <laughs> did go on marriage boot camp reality stars with the lucky peter guns who is now with somebody else i heard that he's with a, a teenage chick like 18 19 some people said that she was like 25 but she's a younger woman <laughs> like amina's like 35 i know amina looks like she's 22 but she's 35 and he you know left her wing out himself a younger woman and didn't even finish divorcing amina yet so i could go marry amina but that ain't none of y'all business the point is this man amina already did the show and April and Omarion are sure as hell not getting back together. And Drea's relationship with with Orlando Scandrick is perfectly fine. And they're not married yet. I don't know. He he needs to go ahead and marry her. I, dude, you got Drea and Michelle. You need to just go ahead and, and bring the horse and the carriage out. Anyways, ain't none of my business. The point is this, though, man. My favorites don't qualify. Drea is from Basketball Wives. And she's not married to Orlando yet. April was never legally married to Omarion. Amina already did the show and she's sure as hell not getting back with Peter Guns. She doesn't want them dirty feet in her bed anymore. She doesn't want his dirty feet darkening her doorstep or dirtying her doormat anymore. I mean he could turn a <laughs> he could turn a welcome doormat into a well done doormat. Just charcoal it up, just burnt crispy looking after he rubs his ashy coal looking feet all over the welcome mat could you imagine i mean he looks like he was running on coals and didn't get all the way across the fire so i mean, I mean he listen his ethnicity is blackfoot indian I, i'm just i'm just saying but anyway the point is this though my jesus my favorites don't qualify for the show but there are some ladies that i would like to see on the show this season now since santana is not married to joe budden so i can't say her <sighs> Yandy's not me really married to Mendeecees. No, I can't say her. Dream Doll didn't marry me yet. Hey, baby. So I can't say her. Hi, Dreamy. Uh, LaBrittany Franklin. She's not legally married to me yet, so I can't say her. Yes, I'm going to marry Dream Doll and LaBrittany Franklin and Mariah Lynn. Yes, we're going to have three wives. I'm going to be like Akbar. I'm going to have three women's. Uh, but uh, we're going to go to a country where I can marry them all legally. So, yeah. That ain't none of y'all business. The point is this, though. The point is this. Who is legally married? Let me see. Kim Bella. I think Kim Bella married Joel Santana. So, but then again, he's, they're trying to lock him up and throw away the key. This dude might serve 20 damn years. All right. So maybe Kim Bella could do the show. I would like to see Kim Bella there. Let me see. Lyrica Anderson and A1. They would be prime candidates for the show. That would be awesome sauce. Let me see. 
you know, mm, let me see. I could always marry Hazel E, Nikki Madaris, or Alexis Sky so that we can go do the show, you know, and, and get that check. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all. No, but seriously. 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 Let me see. Who else would I like to see on the show? Who else would I like to see? Anais. Yes. Anais needs to do the show. Her, I, her and her husband give me the swingers vibe. Maybe it's just wishful thinking because I love me some Anais. If you know what I mean, like if I listen, listen, if her husband don't mind, I don't either. What's up? What's what's his name? Is it what, what, what's the dude's name again? I, anyways, damn. Let me think. Let me think. Who else? Who else is married? There's not too many of these loving hip hop chicks that are married. If you really think about it, let me see. What about my baby mommy Tommy? Tommy Lee. Uh, she's not married, so I, I would like to throw her up in there. Like me and her, we could have, you know, we we could have gone on the show. But you playing like. <laughs> Uh, Erica Mena, she's not married yet. I, I, Mr. Cliff Dixon, I, he put a ring on it, uh, but they didn't walk down the aisle just yet. So, you know, you can't pick them. Jessica Dime is engaged, but they didn't get married yet, so she couldn't go on the show. And let me see, Carly Redbone, she's not, well, she's engaged, but since she's not married, she can't do the show either. I'm trying to think, like, who the hell is married? Papoose and Remy, but their marriage is Gucci. They're good. They wouldn't go on that show. Jocelyn says something about marrying somebody, but she's not married yet. Who the hell is going to be on there? Out of all the love and hip-hop heifers, how many of them are married? I'm really trying to figure out, like, who the hell is married out of all of them? Rashida Frost. Let me see. Rashida's married. Remy Ma is married to Papoose. Rashida's married to Kirk Frost. And Yandy is fake married to Mendeecees. Rise with feces. And I'm really trying to figure out, like, who I'm really trying to figure out and figure out who the hell is actually married out of all these heifers. It's almost nobody. Like, the more and more I think about it, it's just like they put them on these basketball wives and real housewives, and these heifers are not even really married. Lyric is really married in a real, functional, normal relationship. I mean, they play like idiots on reality TV, but A1 and Lyrica are the shit. Like, for real. They're just messing with y'all. They're just living out of storyline. K. Michelle. K. Michelle is married, right? To the, the dentist, Dr. Sims. I think she's married. I don't think they're engaged. I think they're married. K. Michelle might pop up on the show. Who do you think is going to be in the show? Getting that check. I honestly can't call it. I cannot figure this one out. I need y'all's help because y'all know I'm a little bit slow. But isn't that why you love me? Anyways, y'all. Who do you think is going to be in the show? Who do you want to see on the show? Those are two separate questions. Make sure to differentiate in the comment section. Say, I would like to see, but I think, listen, if Lyrica is on the show, it would make my day. I love Lyrica and A1. You know, they're, the, they're that good black. You know, like, they're, they're the type of black people I like. You know what I mean? Jennifer Williams is good black from Basketball Wise. See, that, that's the type of Negroes I like, man. You know, I'm not into the ratchet Negroes. You know, I'm not going to say any names of, of any ratchet critters. No, I'm not going to do it today. Shay Johnson, you know, uh, <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I, I'm not going to do that today. <laughs> Malaysia Pargo. I'm not, no, 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 I'm not going to do that today. I won't do it. Uh, I'll save that for a separate video. The point is this, though, guys. There's a lot of people I would like to see on the show, but I don't think they're going to be there because most of them aren't married. You know, I, I proposed marriage to Monice, but she didn't hit me back in my DMs. Um, so we can't go on the show together. But let me know what you think about it all below. Who do you want to see? And who do you think is going to be there? Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine, Meat Magazine 7 on Google+, Meat Magazine blog on Instagram. Be sure to hit the notification button. It's right next to the subscribe button. It looks like a bell. Once you click that button, you'll be sent alerts and you'll be notified when new videos get posted. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe, notify. Let me know what you think about my loving hip-hop cutie pies. Are you going to watch? The Love and Hip Hop edition of Marriage Bootcamp, or are you a hater? If you don't tune in, you know what? Don't even listen to me either. You need to just go away, peasant. Like, how dare you? How diggy dog double dare you not tune in for the Love and Hip Hop edition of Marriage Bootcamp? It's going to be the bomb.com, my Jesus. I'm going to be watching every episode. Uh, you know, the women are going to be fine as hell because uh, Aunt Mona stays hiring fine women. So, you know that the women are going to be beautiful. I neglect. Let me know what you think about it below. Meat Magazine, a.k.a. Meat Magadaddy.